So here we've got the movie monster series Hibiya Shin Godzilla, which is based off the actual statue in Japan. Now let's get him out of the bag. So I got this brand new straight from the Godzilla store. And I noticed his arms are very stiff, like they're really stuck in there. So I just grabbed it like right here at the base of the arm, kind of moved it back and forth, used some force until it kind of gave in and started moving. So could also probably heat that up a little bit to loosen it up. But now they move fine. We could get him into that Hibia Shin Godzilla pose. Look at that. And before we go any further, I got to decide what to do with the tag. Some people like to leave them on, others take them off. And I can see the, the appeal of both ways. I got this pack of top loaders. It also comes with some sleeves. And I've seen a lot of people do this where they'll get the sleeve and then slide it right over the tag like this. And then on top of that, they'll slide over the top loader. And these figures do look really nice with the tag. Like it gives them a very collectible, like almost vintage look and feel to them. And it helps to retain resale value if you keep the tags on. But I like to take lots of pictures of my figures, so I don't want this tag covering half of his body. So I'm just going to take it off and save it. I could always re-tag him later on if I want to. And now I'm just going to snip it right off. So there it goes. Tag is gone, but there's still this little piece sticking up. So I'll just push that in until I can't see it anymore. Doesn't really sound like it's rattling around in his body, so that's good. And I think he just looks great now. I can see his full body, all that detail looks really nice. Plus, I've still got the tag in the top loader. It's kind of just like a little Shin Godzilla trading card now. Really nice. And now let's take a look at his weight and measurements. So he weighs just over 8 ounces, and let's see how long he is from the back of the tail to the front of the head. That looks to be just about 10 inches, and as for his height about seven inches tall and now let's take a look at the articulation so his left side his left side arm can fully rotate and so can his left leg it can fully rotate all the way around but on the right side this is not possible because if you try to do it with the leg it'll hit the it'll hit the arm and if you try to do it with the arm it'll hit the leg which I'm completely fine with. I have no reason I'd want to rotate the leg or the arm that much. I'm just going to keep him in the, you know, the basic Hibia Shin Godzilla pose. Just love it like that. Looks, looks great. You also have him look like he's like running, taking a step like that. So now let's look at the details. He's got like a metallic black kind of gray silverish paint job. Looks pretty nice. So there's not much, not much nuance to it, but... It's supposed to be a statue. Sure, a little bit of highlights in some spots would be nice, but I'm completely satisfied with this for what it is. And the detail is really great too. Like, look at the tail. You can see all the little, you know, Godzilla skin detail there going all the way up. And then the end of his disgusting tail you could see all that little detail in there. And let's see his, let's see his dorsal plates now. So look at that. He's got a lot of them. They're just, you know, same color as everything else. And now on to his head. Looks really lumpy. Love, I love this head. I really love the Hibia Shin Godzilla. And then his mouth has also got some detail in there. You can see, you know, Shin Godzilla's mouth has that really unique look to it. And you can see that if you look straight into the mouth. And his eyes are so small, but you can actually make out the details on it. You can see the pupil is just like a gray little ball. But yeah, if you look close enough, there's a little indention for the pupil there. Then going down to his neck, that looks pretty good too. You could see the little designs on each side of the neck. And then he's got this kind of like, I'm just going to call it a collarbone. His collarbone is like very unique on Shin Godzilla. It ends in that little point on his chest. Lots of lines and detail just going all the way down to his legs. Legs looking a little lumpy. Got more of that Godzilla detail there. Oh, and let's look at the toes. So the toenails look great. They've got some little texture to them, really making them look like claws, toenails, whatever. Then he's got the little small ones just sticking out all around the foot. And let's get an up-close look at the hands. He's got these really small little hands with four fingers on them. Really nice thing. Very happy with it. The only other movie monster series figure I have right now is this Godzilla Earth, which has got to be my favorite, but this Shin Godzilla is is a close second and I've got a lot more movie monster series figures on the way so those will be showing up on this channel.